rock star cartoonist by Michael Lyons. I watch the ripples change in size, but never leave the stream of warm impermanence. So the days flow through my eyes, but still the days seem the same, just the same, quite the same. Changes. David Bowie. Rockstar Cartoonist by Michael Lyons. I start envisioning an alternative lifestyle of playing in a rock band, drawing cartoons, and never getting married or having kids. Cartoonist Michael. How did I become so rich and famous? Plays guitar every day, draws whenever he feels like it. I am so happy. Rockstar hair, alternative clothing, many sexual partners of varying degrees of spiritual and physical intimacy, always uses a condom, lean and healthy because he isn't sitting on the couch every night watching TV and eating chocolate covered raisins for Christ's sake. Married Michael. I wonder what would have happened if I had really tried to become a cartoonist. Has a real job. No time for guitar now. Conservative haircut, boring clothes, 20 pounds heavier, fucking raisins. No longer sexually attracted to his wife. Lots of expectations on him. 1991. You've been fooling with some hot guy. I want to know what is it like. I stay up all night to keep Jennifer company before she, before her trip to Europe. She wants to be able to sleep on her flight over. By the time I drop her off at Concordia, I'm too exhausted to feel sad, even though this will be our longest time apart so far. See you in three weeks, baby. Work is going well enough, I guess. I'm still always broke, and now the student loan people want their money back. I bounce a check buying SIGs and they send it to a collection agency. Cool. Before this is all over, this pack of cool miles will cost me $30. When Jennifer gets back from her Euro spring trip, I trick her into confessing that she had sex with some bartender in Crete. I promise I won't get mad. Did anything happen while you were away? Yes, but I had my period since then, so <laughs> I'm devastated, but financially and emotionally dependent on her, so we stay together. 1992. Tomorrow I'll say we can still be friends, but I'm never coming back here again. South Bend, Indiana. Jennifer is driving me to the train station. I haven't gotten around to breaking up with her yet. I had all weekend to do this in person, and now I'll have to wait until I'm back in Moorhead. It was a dumb idea to begin with. You can't break up with them on the first night. Hi, honey. Welcome to my home. I've missed you. Hi. Let's break up. You can't do it right after sex. Whew. That was awesome. We need to talk. And you can't do it when they're being nice to you. Did I tell you you look cute this morning? I hope our kids have your eyes. Thanks, sweetie. I think we should see other people. Nineteen ninety-three. Excuse me while I kiss the sky. I'm back in college and super focused on Coffee House Five. This is my destiny now. If I can get syndicated, my problems will be over. English majors wear a lot of black and are tolerant of my smoking. I'm finding that these wannabe poets are a lot like wannabe cartoonists. In the room, women come and go, talking of Michelangelo. 1992. For nostalgic reasons, David and I decide to try pot again. It's been years and we're both getting a little tired of the bar scene. Are you high? 
Hmm. Yes, I believe I am high. The next night. All perception is memory. I'm tripping through time. This is the most beautiful song I've ever heard. Ever. This is so much better than being drunk. 1994. Well, we can't salute ya. Can't find a flag. If that don't suit ya, that's a drag. I graduate from MSU and immediately get a job at Concordia College. I'm the Native American representative, and my job is to recruit Indian kids. I'd rather be a cartoonist, but at least I have a good job. I hate my hair and my clothes, but there seems to be a lot of unwritten rules at Concordia. My very survival depends on this paycheck, so I put on the costume, shave off my goatee, and try to fit in. They give me a nice car to use and send me out to all the reservations in Minnesota, North Dakota, and Montana. Don't speed. If a cop pulls you over, he'll smell the weed. I've only been to Minnesota and North Dakota, besides one romantic weekend in Canada, in my life. So this is pretty exciting. 1995. Spring sweet rhythm dance in my head and slip down to your lover's hands. The admissions staff treats me like an exotic person of color, straight off the set of Dances with Wolves, but they're really nice. Do your people like Dave Matthews' band? We play Noonball together and eventually start a band called October. There's a student from Bangladesh who's too beautiful for words. I think her name is Natasha. She's way too young for me, but I flirt with her every chance I get anyway. Nineteen ninety six. If I live until I am a hundred and two, I just don't think I'll ever get over you. I realize I've never been in love until now. Natasha is the most perfect woman for me in every way. We absolutely worship each other. I've never been more certain about anything in my life. I love Natasha Hussein and I want to spend the rest of my life with her. I love you. I love you more. Two months later, I've got to get out of this relationship with Natasha. Two months after that, I've got to get Natasha back. August 13, 13th, Grandpa dies. I drew, drew this cartoon and put it in his casket. Dear Grandpa, what can I say? I'm sorry you're dead. So long. I got the word today just as I had finished my second burrito. Michael, are you there? You had been sick for so long, I thought I'd be ready to see you go. Poor guy. Get well, cartoon. Instead, all I can think of is how the world is one short now. So I guess this is it. Goodbye, Grandpa. What? No punchline? Dumb old grumps. 1913 to 1996. Nineteen ninety seven. It's too late. Too late. Too late for love. Blissless is practicing regularly now. I write most of the songs and Amel and Jeff are sharing the singing. We're not great, but it's really fun. I keep hoping to see Natasha in the audience, but she doesn't come to these kind of bars. I finished the comic book version of Coffeehouse Five and start contributing a strip called Prairie Rose to the Grand Forks Herald. Vegan cl when clowns, no, that's dumb. When mimes go bad. Wait, yeah. Yes, of course I am. When mimes go bad. <laughs> That's good. Tap, tap, tap. Knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock. Will, let me in. I'm going to wake the neighbors. If I can't have a married life, I'll become a cartoonist. 1998. To hear that tears me up inside, and to see you cuts me like a knife. 
It's no use. All I do is think about Natasha and everything I do. She wasn't just my muse. She was my oxygen. She was the very blood that ran through my heart. On the wall, I see the message Natasha and I wrote with a Sharpie marker. Michael loves Natasha. Natasha loves Michael. I finally find Natasha at this year's graduation ceremony. She looks stunningly beautiful as she casually snuggles into her new boyfriend. It's too late.